Greetings, YouTubers. Well, today's a beautiful day, but there are some days when it rains, and I just get really annoyed with my little 2002 Nissan Xterra. Why? Well, some of you might have this problem. If you notice on the wiper here, I don't have an automatic setting. I have two settings. One is on, off, low, and high. That's it. So when it rains, I got to do this all the time. I'm going to turn it off. A few raindrops. Oh, it's annoying. Do it again. So I don't have an auto setting where I can adjust it. So it's either off, low, or high. And if you live in the Northeast, you know how annoying that could be. So what I did, probably wasted some money, but we're going to see if this actually works. Went online. I went on eBay and decided to buy a 2000 to 2004 windshield wiper control. Now, I'm hoping that this will work. It looks like all the bolt holes, the wires are the same. And uh, this will uh, maybe make my annoying grabbing for the wipers every two minutes to turn them on and off. When we're just having a light rain or a drizzle. And, of course, I only paid, uh, let's see, what did I pay for it? Oh, it's right in front of me. $28.88. And I actually uh, got it lower than that because he wanted $35. So sometimes you get a bargain with these people on uh, eBay. It's all about wheeling and dealing. So let's see if it came in the mail yet. And there it is. Yep, came in the mail today. And it looks like, from what I can tell, it's the same thing. So let's go out there and stick this on. I'm either going to be smiling... Or I'm going to be crying, but hey, it's worth a try. And this will let you guys know if you can do the same thing. If you have one of the oddball Nissan Xterras that don't have much of options on it, wipers or fog lights, maybe this will help you out and you can do this too. So let's get to it. All right, it's kind of strange. Today is a beautiful day. I tell you what, the skies don't get much bluer than this in the Appalachian Mountains. Man, it is just a beautiful day. It's about 72 degrees. So, uh... What we got to do is change this out. And by the way, um, you kind of see how this is a square one. This one's kind of round. Of course, it's going to have to be round because it's got this adjustment here on it. So it looks like it should go right in there. So what we got to do first is get a screwdriver and start taking some screws out on the bottom down here. And I don't know, there's probably four, five, or six. So I'm hoping the Phillips screwdriver will work. So. Okay, yeah, looks like it should work. So we'll go ahead and take all these out. We gotta separate this uh, piece here, and that'll give us excess into that. I'm gonna see. All right, so there's our Phillips screw. Cool. I was worried about these being a hex or Allen wrench screw. All right, so go ahead and take all these out real quick. I'll try to make the video kind of short for you guys today. All right, there's our sixth one. We got one, six, three. No, it's actually there's only five. I thought there was six in there, but anyway. All right, now we got to separate this here. Try to get this apart without breaking it. I'm hoping I can do it with one hand here. Camera on the other. Okay. Oh, okay. Wasn't too bad. A lot easier than that trailblazer, I'll tell you that. So, actually, the bottom one here, you know. Yeah, we're gonna take this off over the switch here. Pop the little rubber boot off. Stick that up there and take this off on the bottom. And uh wow, it's pretty dirty. Alright, so there's that. And there's our switch. Hmm, of course that is a uh like the Phillips screw too. Two of them, one on top and one on the bottom. Can you see that right there? The light's playing tricks there. There we go. There. Right there and right there. So, uh, let's grab our screwdriver and go ahead and take this apart. I probably should have got on the passenger seat. Man, so we got a plug in the back. I'll tell you what, let's take this plug out first. All right, guys, so I got the plug unhooked here. And uh, unfortunately, this is the only wire going to the wiper control arm. 
here is the one I just took off. And of course, here's the one I bought. Womp, womp, womp. It won't work. I was hoping it would work because the plugs are pretty close. But uh, looks like I'm going to have to figure out something else. Maybe buy a kit um, on this or just live with it, I guess. But that's the way it goes sometimes. But, uh, you know, it's totally a different plug. So, uh, if you're going to change out your Xterra wiper... For an intermittent wiper, more than likely it's not going to work. And I don't see any other connectors here that would even make it work. If I even had an extra connector just kind of hanging there. Because sometimes from the factory they leave an extra wire hanging for options. But, man, I don't even see that. It's just a straight up wire. And uh, I, would believe, I would think the control for the intermittent would be in this. Actually, it'd be on this one here. So, anyway, well, I guess I could just resell it, get my money back out of it, but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. So, I'll read up online and see if there's anything we can do, but I was really hoping we could change out these wipers because it is so annoying hitting that wiper every couple of minutes to get a wiper, to get the rain off the, you know, windshield. So, anyway. All right, so, well, I guess we'll put all this back together and... Uh, I guess this has been a PSA announcement from uh, for uh, the Xterra owners. <laughs> Other than that, um, well, at least it's not raining, right? It's a beautiful day. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching the video. So, uh, if you have any ideas, let me know and help out the other Xterra owners. All right. So, until my next video, guys. See you later.